And really, thank you all for coming out today. This is kind of overwhelming, uh, considering all the weather that we're dealing with today um, outside. Uh, but you know what, just taking back, and uh, Bill kind of alluded to this earlier, uh, I'll never forget the, the first moments of uh, the cardiac program over at Met Campus, and we used uh, the actual hallways to act exercise people in, in the program. Uh, so we've certainly come a long way from those times. Um, but it was in the early years of developing the cardiac program that I had the opportunity to visit some of the uh, cardiac programs that were in Ontario at the time. And two programs in Toronto and Ottawa kind of made a lasting impression with me with their uh, indoor walking tracks and um, exercise equipment. And I, I always thought coming back from there, like, why can't Windsor have this? Uh, so... Um, it, it, it really did push the vision along, and 16 years later, I'm proud to say that we have one of the best facilities in the province. Uh, this is really good. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, why, why is this new uh, rehabilitation and wellness center important? Uh, so the primary reason is the impact it's gonna have on our patients, people, and identity. So if you look around, uh, we have 10 uh, new pieces of equipment that added to our uh, equipment that we brought over from upstairs. And having 10 extra pieces allows a little bit more freedom for patients to grab a piece of equipment that they may like, whereas before they were fighting over it and putting their books onto the treadmills to you know, make sure they, they got it. Um, uh, you know, we have brand new high uh, fitness grade uh, fitness club grade uh, equipment to replace really treadmills that have been here since day one. Um, a 75 meter indoor walking track to allow the staff to um, graduate people um, and build their confidence so that they can walk when they when they leave the program. Um, the overall increase in capacity and size. I mean, if you saw our old space, it was 2,000 square feet. Now we're up to 10,000 square feet. A little bit more elbow room. Um, improved sight lines for the staff before uh, where the staff were sitting they were there were pillars that were in the way and they couldn't see all of the the people exercising in this situation they can see everyone at one time uh, accessible washrooms right off the exercise facility uh, is another safety feature uh, monitors to project educational material to the our, our patients while they're exercising is something that we never had before um, if you came into the, the waiting room, you saw our Take, take the Challenge uh, digital donor wall uh, to show our appreciation to all the people who contributed uh, past, present, and future. Uh, Climate-controlled environment. Um, if you didn't know upstairs, it was kind of hot some days, and other days it was hotter. Um, this is, uh, we have our own HVAC unit uh, dedicated to this space, keeping um, the temperature at a nice cool 66, regardless of uh, how many people we have in the room, which is, this is a record for us. Um, but it's, it's very important to keep everyone nice and cool. Um, but probably most importantly is the opportunity uh, to become an exercise hub for our community, not just for cardiac and pulmonary patients, but we have also bring in, brought in our bariatric population recently. And um, quite frankly, many other patients with rehabilitation needs can benefit from not only the equipment and space, but the um, dedicated staff that we have here at Hotel du Grace Healthcare. Uh, in, in fact, I just want to, before I forget, uh, I want to thank uh, Jan and all the leadership team for their support, recognition, and really giving this, uh, the, this project the green light so we can all have the tools um, to impact our community's health. Okay, halfway through. Um, none of this would have, would have happened without the efforts of many people and events over the years. So we started this back in 2000. The first event that we put on was um, the Path to a Better Heart uh, 5K, uh, and, and it ran, no pun intended, for 12 years, and uh, that was a, a big mainstay with us. Um, during that time, the enigmatic Tim Lumley came along and spearheaded the Evening of Heart and Enchantment Fashion Show Gala, 
which has us bringing out all the Derek Zoolander and all of us for seven straight years. Um, in between, we tried our luck with golf tournaments and even a car rally fundraiser. Throughout all of this, there were hundreds and hundreds of individuals uh, who gave donations and memorials, which also contributed to our overall fundraising total. Companies like DJ Galvanizing stepped up to purchase some of the new equipment you see here today and recumbent bikes, and new supporters like the Frank Bomer Golf Tournament also directed their funds towards cardiac wellness. As well, uh, with the move of the pulmonary rehab program to co-locate with cardiac wellness, um, more kindness was felt with the pulmonary group and all of their supporters have contributed to this cause and continue to do so. Uh, the generosity continued when Danny Probert and her family, who have been leading the successful Probert ride for the past five years, graciously directed all of last year's funds to the majority of the new exercise equipment you see here today. An overwhelming donation in memory of Angelo Santa Rosa from the Santa Rosa family has had a huge impact on our efforts, and I thank all of you for your incredible contributions. Uh, last, uh, lastly, and near and dear to my heart, no pun intended, I have all these puns today. Um, is the Heartbreaker Challenge. And if you don't know what the Heartbreaker Challenge is, it's a fundraiser, it's a five uh, to seven K mud obstacle event held at Malden Park. Um, it's really the first of its kind that ever came to the Windsor Essex County area. After three years, uh, the event has raised, raised over $200,000 for cardiac wellness and pulmonary rehab. And we're excited about this year's event on May 28th. So if you wanna get fit, get dirty, give back May 28th. We'll see you there. And I know some of you will be there. Um, so um, the other thing about the Heartbreaker is it's truly been a success because of the dedication of the committee members, uh, staff involvement, volunteers, sponsors, and participants. It's a community event. Uh, I'm particularly uh, grateful for uh, my brothers and their families. <laughs> Um, and their involvement and support. It's almost like having a family reunion every year. Um, okay. Um, most importantly, I, I am, I'm truly blessed, and I would like to thank my, um, my kids, Emma and Chet, uh, who have been uh, supportive while they've been growing up. And they actually volunteered last year. Um, Damn, I thought I wasn't going to do this. I, I practiced several times. Um, and of course, my wife Heidi, who has always been the biggest fan, supporter, and volunteer, who I, I could not do any of this without her. Um, so we always talk in our family about Team Petro, right? So um, I can honestly say that we at our home are changing lives together. Thank you.